Hey guys, this video is going to help you learn how to use your calculator to help you with sig figs. Go into the apps key. We're going to go down to something called science tools. Your TI should come with this. Uh, you can download it off their site. You can also link with other people with the same types of calculators and transfer them. And there we are, science tools. Okay, you should be using this for your metro conversions. And then the first one is sig fig calculator. I'm just going to hit enter. All right, so the first thing, I just write a number, 89, enter. The first thing he's gonna do is count the sig figs. I'm not doing anything, so it just repeats itself. Clear, what if I have 1.201? There you go, four sig figs. Clear, how about if I have point zero 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 five? Enter, oh, one sig fig. Again, when it does this, you see that it tends to go in scientific notation. What about multiplying? You know, sometimes I'm gonna ask you to multiply. So what if I have 789? times two. Well, this has three sig figs, this has one. That means you must go with the lowest number of sig figs. Here's the real answer, or the full answer, but I can only have one sig fig, so it is rounded to 2,000 whatevers. Okay, remember when you're multiplying and dividing, the rule is your answer must be to the lowest number of sig figs of anything you used in your math. All right, what about adding? So if I have, you know, 147.2 plus 56, one of them goes to the tenths place, one of them goes to the whole number. There's the answer, 203.2, but the least precise, even though it has two sig figs, it's not like multiplying and dividing, your answer will be 203. It will be rounded to the least precise. Okay, so that's a quick tool for you to use for scientific notes, excuse me, for significant digits. Thanks for watching.